Hey, what's hippie happening, folks? We're on Twitch.tv. Doing more washing. Because I'm tired and I, I was doing stuff like that earlier and it's like, oh man. I want to do that, but bigger. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Oh, this is a boat. We clean it the boat. That's where we are. Sorry, I had to turn down the volume. And I was just setting this stuff down. Oh boy. Oh, the microphone's a bit far away from me. Hold on a second. How's the microphone? Okay, yeah, microphone's pretty good at this point. Oh, God. That's loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just remembered that I think the player character's in on the uh, madness because, like, their friend who's getting close and trying to figure it all out and, like, actually seems to be getting close to what's happening, uh, Suspiciously, we we just send him away at just the right time, and the supervillain and the mayor, the cartoon supervillain and the mayor, who are uh, from the sound of it, definitely in cahoots. Uh, uh, are real buddy buddy with the player character. thus indicating that the player character might be in cahoots as well. Or, as indicated, perhaps the player character is doing a I just want to grill kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I can explain that any better if you are someone who does not know what I'm talking about when I say for God's sakes, I just want to grill. There's a classic internet image. Of course it's going to be like this. There's like some tiny piece that I'm missing. Oh. Uh. Finally, I can just drop down now. I can just drop down now, thank you. Man, I just remembered I've seen a lot of people up in arms about that new Disney movie, and it's like... Rather, I've seen a lot of people up in arms about the people who are up in arms about it, and I have not myself seen the people up in arms about it. Because I simply do not care. Sorry, I said it was a Disney movie. It's a Pixar movie. There is a difference. Pixar is respectable. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
in the same way that if a movie came out and it was like officially by uh, like the Jim Henson Corporation even though they're owned by Disney Muppet Studios is respectable I got nothing else to say there because I don't remember if I had anything else to say so I'll just play on the assumption that I didn't have anything else to say eh? what do you think about that Yeah, people up in arms about the Pixar movie, and it's like, it's weird. Because they're up in arms for it, up in arms over it about weird reasons, not normal reasons, like, I simply didn't like it, or it just, eh, it was okay. Just wasn't for me, you know? The people who it's, who would, you know, like, where if it's, you know, it's like, eh, it's a good movie, but it's not for me. These people are losing their fucking minds about how it's not for them it would seem. Lots of pearl clutching going on, if you know what I mean. If you don't, uh, like homophobia and racism, that's what pearl clutching usually is. Often indirectly with a, oh, I'd never be racist, says racist thing. You know, the think of the children. And it's like, okay, I am thinking of the children. That's why we think trans children should be allowed to get, like, health care. Like, trans health care, specifically. And it's like, oh, well, won't someone think of the children? And it's like, you're not thinking of the children, you're thinking of yourself. If you were really thinking of the children, you'd let them get the things. The small, like, basically nothings that, uh, like they do for that sort of thing. Yeah, that, that sort of shit is what pearl clutching is. Like in the 50s when rock and roll music was getting popular, there was pearl clutching about that. Why? As I said, since it's mainly uh, homophobia and racism, uh, it's because a lot of uh, rock and roll musicians were not white. Oh my goodness. And at that time, they weren't afraid to say that that was why. They weren't afraid to say that they were racist and that they didn't... Which, now, in a very good turn of events, they are afraid to say that they're racist. Because being racist is wrong. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get down to that again, because I'm, 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 I'm losing my mind, it's my stream, I can talk about what I want to. And if what I want to talk about is racism is bad, then, like, I mean, I could, I could, I could, like, t be talking about something that's, like, false. 
I, I could try and say, you know, as I said, I could say some false things. But I, I, if, if I, if it's my stream and I'm gonna talk about shit, I'd rather talk about, like, true shit, like, racism bad. We can, we can say that. And you know what, I'll say right now, if I'm ever race, saying something racist, tell me, and I refuse to double down. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm being racist, am I? Does something ten times more racist to be like, hmm, how about now? Now am I being racist? Which I have seen far too often, and it doesn't make sense to me. Like, doubling down, I don't not get that, I understand it. Doubling down on being racist, though, like, uh... You sure that's the right thing to do there? problem is most of these dudes are pretty sure it's the right thing to do even though it's very much not even if someone's polite to you about it some of these people will still be like mm hmm well I'm going to be twice as racist now because I'm mad at you for Indicating that I've said anything racist. <laughs> sense to me. Like, as I said, in some cases, I get it. Like, if you're actually right about something, I understand. But, like, being taught since a very young age, like, hey, being racist isn't cool. It's uncool, it's bad. And someone says you're being racist, to be like, really? I didn't know. My bad. And there you go. That's... That's how that ends, is, oh, I didn't know, my bad. And then you don't do it anymore. Still, though. This doesn't make sense to me. So that's the problem, is if I let the fucking part of me that rambles ramble, I ramble about shit like this. So it's like, I mean, as, as has been said before many times, it's my stream, I can ramble about what I want to ramble about, but like, God, I don't, I don't get how people can have long rambling rants about things that like, make sense. <laughs> That's right. I did it that way. Because I'm clever and evil and stuff. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're so close to having this clean. back up there. You know what? I don't like this being the black and yellow. I want it to be the normal colors again. Yeah. 
Yes! I won. I won! We love YouTube poops here. That's how. That's what we'll say now. We we'll just talk about YouTube poop. Y'all seen any good YouTube poops lately? I saw one that was merely okay, la like that was released last night by The Things. The Things is pretty good, but like. There was this YouTube poop I've seen a long time ago that I haven't been able to find since. I've only seen it like once or twice. And it was a YouTube poop of this like weird Mormon cartoon about Jesus and stuff. And one of the lines, the way that the narrator of it says Mormon Jesus like, this is a more well-known version, and a well-known YouTube poop of this, where, uh, the fact that the way that the narrator says Mormon Jesus sounds kind of like, uh, MC Hammer's Can't Touch This, uh, they've parodied it with that, so, that's, that's the more well-known one, but there's also one that's just a straight-up regular YouTube poop of it, of that, and it's very funny to me. Oh, also the 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 video that it's uh, that the the Mormon weird thing is 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 also in and of itself pretty racist, which you know I can't condone, but goddamn, sometimes they make fun of the racists real good with YouTube poops, and you can tell that the racists are being made fun at, laughed at and not with. And it's, it's like, ha ha, yes. It's like when you see all those, like, in the 2000s when they st er, I guess they've been doing it since earlier, but like some of the more funny ones, uh, like parodies of the 70s black exploitation films came from the 2000s, and like those are really fucking good, and they're laughing at the racists. You can tell because they're parodies of black exploitation films. Like, Undercover Brother. Which apparently was a webcomic? Something? And it's like, I didn't know. Until looking it up. And it's like, it would have been... Apparently they had some sort of sequel to the movie, and it d didn't sound very good. It sounded like, kind of, uh... Like, the people who did it didn't know how to make a movie about... Who didn't know how to make a movie like that. Personally, I think the solution would be the antagonist, Dave Chappelle's character. The thing he's doing? The thing Dave Chappelle is doing. Which, I think, great idea. That's what I think. And then the whole plot is about how uh, there's a new person in his role who's thinking that what's happening there you know is it in and of itself a plot from the the man as it were because that's a pretty popular conspiracy theory is that uh, when you got a guy like that being like real like racist and homophobic and sh like not being racist, but like homophobic and transphobic and shit, that that's like... That big business is fine with that because they... Because we're all the working class. And by putting, like, 
black people and LGBT people against each other, that's like pitting the working class against each other and keeping them from going up. And it's like, is that true? Like, I don't think that they're doing it on purpose, but I think they are definitely not trying to stop it on purpose. Like, I think if you ask, like, why is big business not doing this? Not, like, why are people with money like that? And it's because they realize that to keep the money, they gotta keep other people from, they, 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 they don't wanna spend their money is why. And big businesses spend money by paying their workers. And they don't want to pay their workers because they want money. They don't care whose lives they have to ruin to get money. I still think that would be a great plot for that film if they had made it, but no, apparently they made one a few years back and uh, as it doesn't seem very good. IMDB descriptor seems like a rom-com, which isn't a bad movie, but it's like, I'm sorry, the people who like that series don't want to, probably don't want to watch a rom-com. Not to, not to sound communist on twitch.tv, but let's just say if I became a monster and took over the world and then made it a better place, and then since I would abolish prisons, they'd be like, hey, well, you did kill a bunch of guys, so we have to get rid of you. Uh, and they would, they would send, I would be like, ah, well, what are you to do? Send me to Mars? And then they'd be like, well, shit, yeah, I guess that's what we have to do. And then I'd be like, on the way to Mars, I'd be like, Red planet indeed. Because I think that would be a funny joke. Even though it would also be awful. And it would make everybody who was on the spaceship with me. Going to Mars. It would make them all groan. And I'd be like. <laughs> that just makes me want to say it more. Clean the kitty. All right. Nice. Love to watch numbers go up. That's that's sort of a. A classics of humanity. Watching numbers go up. We just can't get enough of this stuff. It's like, oh, number go up. Oh, human, Greg love number go up. stuff good that's why that's why capitalists love money because number go up what's not to like about number go up as I said when number goes up means like number of when number go up is a bad thing actually is like when it's money when it's money for like big businesses 
No, no one should have a billion dollars. I'll just say it right now. Not to sound communist on Maine on Twitch.tv, but I just don't think that uh, anyone should have a billion dollars. If I if I was given a billion dollars, I like if if I say, like I'd love to try and like. I feel like it would be pretty easy to trick Elon Musk into giving you money to be like, okay, you know, say like, I could fix the homeless problem in my town with the amount of money you have. And then you do with less. And he's like, oh, um, and you've tricked him into giving you a shitload of money that you then use to continue to make things better. Like, man, if, if I could trick Elon Musk into giving me a billy, I like also, I like referring to a billion dollars as a billy. That's funny to me. That's funny to me. I haven't been recording the whole time. Well, that's fine. I'll just uh, download the recording off of Twitch. So if you're watching this on YouTube, sorry, it's in shit quality. I forgot to hit record. That's no problem, though. Honestly, what I'd love to do is I'd love to just at some point just start streaming on YouTube instead. But that would require me to uh, do some stuff that I can't do properly. If I was using slobs and I paid slobs money for it, that'd be fine, but I'm not. I'm using real OBS. And real OBS is great. We like real OBS here, as opposed to slobs. Oh god, that reminds me. I think I've talked about this before. But when I worked at McDonald's, we had toys at one point for the uh, Illumination film Secret Life of Pets. And uh, it likes to. It, the, the system likes to shorten names of things, so. Uh, we did have. Uh, I have it so that I could put on the menu. Or on, on someone's order. You know, whenever they ordered a kid's meal at all, they also got slop. Yes, 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 Mr. Propeller. Oh, control panel as well? Sheesh. You ever learn you didn't clean something? I did. Oh, it's this thing. Woo. All right. Ah, beautiful. Clean boat. We love clean boats. Monster truck. I think I need the, uh, I completely forgot about using soap. I was going to say, I think I need metal. Oh, perfect. We already have metal soap out. This soap nozzle's too good, apparently.
And for a second, I thought that said spoo. I'll be real with you. as well uh use up the rest of this soap all right I head up to the top again and Give me just a second, I think I should put the clear something behind me. Okay, I might just be going crazy. Okay, I'm just going crazy. Sorry, chat. And eventually, YouTube viewers, I'm just going crazy a little bit. <laughs> you know how it is. Maybe I'm hearing a neighbor walking around outside, and I just... And I've got a little bit of panic mode for some reason. Where it's like, is that someone in my house? Oh god, I'm dead, aren't I? I'm toast. I'm screwed. They're gonna kill me. playing Shibby Robo right now. I love Shibby Ro Robot. <laughs> the greatest game I've ever fucking played. Definitely worth the money if you're the kind of crazy person who actually buys old video games. Well, I definitely gotta say, uh, some of this stuff is like a color. Like, I know I've said it before, but this fucking, this stage specifically, is one of those, like, colorblind person's worst nightmare kind of levels. Oh, hey, we got this thing. And then we got this thing, and it's basically the same freaking color. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. And if you're not the kind of person who, uh, Sorry, I'm getting back to that. If you're not the kind of crazy person who buys old video games, uh, 
It wouldn't hurt you to give Chibi Robo a download. It's a good game. Download Dolphin. Play Chibi Robert. It's so good. so good I feel like I might cry sometimes. Please note, it's a game I've wanted since I saw an advertisement, or saw a, uh, a, a, like, a review slash guide for it in a gaming magazine. Because it was released back when gaming magazines were still a thing. I was back in 2006 when I saw that and I was like, I need this game. you like oh does this game from this this retro game live up to the hype uh, I can definitely say it it depends on the person because I guarantee you you ask 10 different people Chrono Trigger is it really such a good game you'll get 10 different answers because Chrono Trigger is an RPG and RPGs like you gotta be a person who likes RPGs to like RPGs turn based RPGs especially even like ones like Chrono Trigger that are pseudo action RPGs like I get why Chrono Trigger is good and well or why Chrono Trigger is well liked but I don't like it that much I feel like there's probably people who, upon hearing me say that, like, got into a, like, incredible rage. There's probably also people where Chrono Trigger is their absolute favorite game and their response is, yeah, I understand, it's not for everyone. Which is a, a responsible thing to think. Which is what I like to think I would think if someone said they hated Chibi Robo as a game. If they said they hated it as a game, I'd be like, yeah, that's understandable. It's kind of uh, esoteric at times. Significantly less esoteric than the other games that made by those guys, but still a little esoteric. Whereas you don't need a guide or some sort of weird knowledge on how, on the freaking, like, Japanese, tr like, train lines, like you would in, uh, oh, what's that one called? Chulip. Like, you don't need that for, uh, Chibi Robo. Some of the stuff does get a bit weird. It's like, okay, well, well what do I do with this? You know? That kind of sort of situation.
And it's the same gameplay, because it's the same guys who made it. Same approximate gameplay. game is so messed up. Oh, we got that ex that action too. We cleaned it. Oh yes, indeed, brothers. Let's see, what's this in need? Multi-purpose. 
Have we any multi-purpose? We got glass, wood, we don't. That's fine though. We can just buy some more. I'm gonna buy a couple more metals as well. I'm just a little into the game right now. Awesome, awesome, we got the tail.
I'll tell you, the, the British spelling of the word tire still bothers me. There's probably some people out there thinking why I say that. It's like, people are probably thinking, like, big deal. It's just this game. This game was made by British people. Get over it. But I mean, in general. Like, if you'll pardon the, the wordplay here, why did they decide to spell it that way? Freaky wrong spelled things. Yes. Yes. Love this video. This hot pink bitch wandering around a big metal car fucking spraying it down. Oh my god. We're at this point now. Oh boy. Now I think it's time for me to take a break and do some soap only. Soap only. Because we are tired of this. We want to do other things. We need wood first. It's weird to think that what with famous people like making their personal lives more or less their business, it's weird when you see some. It feels weird when you see someone who's like semi-famous and you know nothing about their personal life, and it's like it's cool. I like that, but it's also like wow. Any number of these, like, internet famous people could be, like, in a relationship, and I would never know. And I kind of like that. Like, any of these people who are being, like, Oh, well, I just simply do not talk about having a relationship on Twitter or whatever. It's like... Sometimes it's like, that's cool, and sometimes it's like... I want to know. But I respect their opinion to... I respect their privacy.
Blank, blank, blank. Damn it. Uh, I can make this jump. Not if it just keeps knocking me off, though. That's the one that's going to be really most efficient. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's finish off the doghouse first. Yeah, I thought so. Now we get out the stone cleaner. You know, you see all this stuff about people in relationships, and it makes me think, like, God, you know, I'm going to end up like like Steve Carell in that one movie. And then I think of a funny Steve Carell movie that's not the one you're probably thinking of. Because I'd wager the one you're thinking of is the one that would make sense for what I was saying. But that's the joke, is you think of one that's not that one. I will even say that one. In case that is the one you're thinking, and it's like... Or in case that's not the one you're thinking, in which case... What one were you thinking? this multi-purpose. And it's like, everywhere else, the same material is, like, requires stone. I do not think it should make you reload your soaps in uh, free play mode here.
hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Jam Jamie. Love to get new fellows. Oh, Gungaga, huh? Can't say I know anything about that. That's a lie, I can. I know that it's from Final Fantasy VII. That's where that Zack fellow's from. And that's... That's that I never played far enough in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, as I said, I know of it. Never played far enough in Final Fantasy VII to see it. And that... That's it. That's all I know. Is that it's from, from that. see that the maybe I keep trying to ask my boss to let me use the pressure washer but apparently some other group somewhere in the place is using it and I don't get to I'm like ugh I could get our freaking kitchen so dang clean he's like well uh, you know how it is I don't wanna I don't want to step on anybody's toes or anything. It's like, step on toes. You're a manager. You're supposed to be, like, pushy. But he's also a pushover. It's a problem I've had with managers. They're supposed to be pushy, but they are, in fact, pushovers. like that though. What the heck was I doing? And I am running out of things to ramble about because I've been Oh, I don't think that would uh work too well. I don't even know where they have it. Cuz we only have the one apparently. It's like, ugh, just let me use it. We clean the floors, man. See how the floors look when they get mopped? Well, what if they got mopped better than mopped? Uh, the upside is I did get to use the buffer, the floor buffer, so we, we buffed the floors, but good. Woo! do be like that. That was the wrong button again. Curse my fat fingers and not being used to mouse and keyboard. They don't make keyboards for people with fat fingers. Indeed. Indeed. Most certainly. Da Vinci indeed.
goes there. Surprisingly difficult to see. Wait, I forgot this was supposed to be so bonely. I fool, I failed. fail. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Wait a minute. There's stuff over here. You're not clean. Now you are. Yeah. in the wrong one because I got the big wrong fingers. Let's see the chains. The chains still aren't clean. Where is there still filth on these chains? There it is. Ha <laughs> ha victory. Did not mean to jump there. grill. Now we can get to the fun part. <coughs> Ooh. I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. I'm more a fan of Leonardo da Turtle, though. Not even that funny. It's not even that funny, but this joke had been stewing in my brain since you, since I saw that. I was like, oh, I gotta make that joke. Gotta make that joke. Gotta make the joke. Even though it's bad. Whew, out my shoulders. Is the the windshield on this toy car made of actual glass? How rich are these dudes? The rims are made of real metal. What the heck? Sheesh. A 
single person doesn't know YouTube poop. Because YouTube poop is just the universal language. Ugh. Yeah, it's glass. Oh, that's right. Oh, God. Plastic. Let's move it up. Let's clean that up a little bit. You kidding me? That's wood. Here it's wood, but on the other sides, oh no, it's multi-purpose. You gotta use your multi-purpose cleaner to clean that. Sheesh. That's right, that's right. Awesome. Right, metal. Purpose, yes, that's right. And then we'll make sure that the dog's bowl is filled to the brim with plastic soap. Fine. Yeah. Love watching these time lapse videos. that might be fun to do with soap only. <sighs> I wonder if I can... No, I, I already did this one. I know I can reach the stuff, the farthest parts with the only soap. All right. Vehicles. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's do the let's do the uh, the uh, the drill pod from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I already made a turtles joke. Let's continue with the turtles stuff then, huh? big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as characters. Their shows are okay. Their games are often very good or very bad. There's very little in between. remember that the publisher of the Turtles games was Ubisoft for a while. 
Those guys suck, huh? Can't make another Rayman game to save their lives, but they can make fucking Rabbids NFTs. NFTs are going out of style because they will very soon. When all the people who have shitloads of money already have made shitloads more money off of the people that they scammed into getting into cryptocurrency. Who will then be trying to scam other people, but they're the. The, the society has built them as those who get scammed and they are not like. They do not have the skills or resources to scam other people. Which is part of the, really a problem is that there's people that have, you have to have resources to scam people. So you have to have already scammed people to be able to scam people. You don't it doesn't you don't necessarily have to have scammed people you could have just like you could be like say the child of a scammer or uh, some other sort of like person who has done evil things you know like maybe maybe your dad owns a mine or something and like plenty of indication that and it was during a bad a very bad time in the country's history so you know this is a joke by the way we are making a joke about elongated muskrat's father owning an emerald mine and that's that's the real reason why elon musk is rich right now because his dad owned an apartheid era emerald mine in south africa it's like yeah uh, that'll do it for you not exactly a get rich quick scheme but definitely not a get rich slowly either. completely lost track of what I was doing and what I was talking about. Holy crap. Ever happen to you? you just sort of start the just sort of start rambling. You know, as long as I'm talking about it. So my boss you know, he started getting into, like, cryptocurrency. He said he went and bought some Ethereum. And I didn't know how to explain to him why that's a scam. And I've realized the perfect solution is... It's literally named after Ether, which is the, like, an alchemy thing from way back when alchemy was considered a real science. That is nothing. That's the alchemical term for nothing. It's like, ah, yes. When you are creating something from the Ether... That means you have nothing, and you are creating something from nothing somehow, which was the uh, the end goal of alchemy, which is why it was which is why it, you know, is not a science. But also, like, the fact that these guys know that it means that it is nothing, and they decided, yeah, well, I mean, it just because it sounds cool, and they know that it's nothing.
Like if they called it nothing, I it would be a little. It would just be more obvious to people. The problem is all the people who do it are real easy marks. Like I'll be honest, I was surprised that it was int that it wasn't until recently that my boss got into NFTs because the dude's a total fucking mark. Like I I don't want to sound rude or anything, but that dude is a mark. Let's do an easier one. Let's do yeah, you know, we'll do the fire truck. But yeah, the dude's a mark. He's he's a freaking mobile game whale. He has apparently spent thousands of dollars on crap like World of Tanks and World of Warships, and it's like, dude, you can just play the game for free. You don't have to give them like thousands of dollars, my guy. But he did. It's too late. He already did give them way more money than they deserve, honestly. Like, do devs deserve money? Yes. Do devs of, like, scammy mobile games deserve money? Some? I think making a scammy mobile game should not be a viable career option. I mean, from the second I met my boss, though, I was like, oh, this dude's a fucking mark. My scammer's instincts kicked in and labeled him as a mark. Which is funny, I didn't know I had any scammer's instincts until I met the man. And realized, oh, this dude's a mark. He is totally. It's so sad. I feel so bad for this dude. Like... To be so obviously the kind of person who gets scammed is like, you know, according to everyone else, I've never met his wife, but apparently his wife's real hot. It's like, damn, what kind of scam is she in on? Because he's, he's, you know, you think, oh, maybe he's got that, you know, that thing that was going around a little bit ago where, you know, the, she let me hit because I'm goofy, but he's not that funny. So it's like, surely it's not that. If it is my god, the the woman needs a better sense of, like, humor. Oh, I already cleaned that off all the way already, huh? Didn't even realize it, though. You know, there's that little bit in there that the, this had the freaking, the fire truck had like pro police graffiti on it from the police and it made me remember. I keep seeing these garbage trucks going around that have the number on them 1312. Like every single truck from that company has 1312 on it. And I think even if that's not like, you know, what it's about, I think that's so funny. Those are plastic. The wipers are plastic. Glass. Ever just put your hands down wrong on it? On the on the keyboard it happens to me all the time as I've said multiple times today I was saying, I don't think the garbage trucks having 1312 on them 
is what it sounds like, you know, is a reference to the, uh, the first, third, and, uh, second letters of the alphabet in that order, or first, third, first, second in that order, but god, it would be so funny if it did, it's like, like, I know, like, like, what did the garbage men do to these pol- or what did the police do to these garbage men for them to have that on their trucks? And I've seen multiple trucks with this, uh, number on it. All from the same company. Unless it is somehow the same truck and it's just like, oh, this truck is just number 1,312 from this company. I would- I would think it would be very funny, though, if it was. <laughs> In fact, just all trucks from that company have that on it. I don't even remember the name of it. The company. Republic, I think, is the name of the company that has the ACAB number on it. That's what it is, by the way. It's ACAB. Why is it so difficult back here for some reason with the soap? And then I saw the back of it required multi-purpose. And I was using metal. Excellent, excellent. I got multi-purpose for everything else, though. remember something I was talking about earlier where people are mad at that new Disney movie no Pixar movie it's not a Disney movie and I don't I do not understand why they are so mad about it it is a movie the glass cleaner here because apparently all the lights are glass awesome now there's a handle somewhere that needs cleaned not that one this one nope this one yes yeah awesome I love trucks we all love trucks here Oh. All right. This is where I'm going to end today because I am very tired. That was the wrong one. It's at the very top for some reason. So, I want to thank one more time, uh, Jam Jamie, for following me, I'm dropping a follow. Puts me one step closer, oh, oh, and in fact, so much one step closer that this happens, come on, 
Oh, that's right. Lotad's getting a little bigger. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I don't know what the hell happened. I just drank something the wrong way, apparently. But yeah, Lotad's getting a little bigger. Coming out of the hole. Out of the wormhole. That, uh, Ghidorah's going down. And, uh, let's see. I'm going to be streaming again on Wednesday. I might be going back to Demon Souls for Wrestling Wednesday, because... The Souls games are wrestling games. I will not elaborate any further. Currently. Maybe if someone shows up then while I'm there, I will elaborate further. But as it is now, nope. That's all I gotta say. All I gotta plug. I got all my links on the screen. If you're watching the uh, poor quality, uh, likely poor quality YouTube version of this because I forgot to hit record... That's fine. You can you, you the the links will be in the description. So goodbye.